Good morning. Welcome to a beautiful day here in Spokane, out here at York Manor. If you don't know who I am, I'm Aaron, and I decided it was a good idea to buy a 5,400 square foot 1901 Victorian, and I know nothing about construction. For roughly the last three-ish weeks, I have been working on remodeling it, and I know nothing. So here's what I did yesterday. Let's go take a look. Yesterday was a pretty good day. I actually was able to get a bunch more demo done. I know you guys have been seeing demo day in and day out. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot of work. It is not everything you watch on TV. So, boom. Holy mess, Batman. So, yeah. Got a lot knocked out, got a lot not, lot done. Uh, gonna need to make some dump runs, gonna need to fill the truck up again today. Uh, let's go on upstairs. Oh my goodness, look at that! Holy crap. That wall, almost all knocked out. That is really crazy to me. Uh, Cause just a few weeks ago, this whole place had full on walls uh, and it was definitely a place that, that you could survive in. Now I have managed to get all of the lat off of the walls on the interior of these rooms with the exception of that room over there. I'll be uh, yanking that lat down today, getting the rest of this plaster down and hopefully pulling all the lat off the ceilings. Um, and getting this down to stud, stud, studs. Uh, not just this partial stud life that we've got now. Uh, got fans set up and those really helped just evacuate all of the dust. Um, if you saw my picture at the end of the day yesterday, I uh, looked an awful lot like a chimney sweep. Uh, it is an obscene amount of dust. It's hard to get off. Pro tip here, before you start this, Invest in good lotion. That just sandblasts every part of your body the whole time. Uh, and there's just, I don't think, I don't know if there's anything you can do about it. If anybody knows anything you can do about it, let me know in the comments below. Um, but yeah, it is wild. Just, I don't have a, I don't normally have like dry skin or anything like that, but all of that dust and all that sand is just drying me out like crazy so anyways yeah we got that here's this you can now see all the way down uh i'm, I'm sure that this is this is very safe and nobody needs a railing here or anything like that just kidding i uh, gonna throw a two by four railing up there probably today um just to make sure that we uh well don't fall down to the bottom floor I'm sure uh, it's probably a requirement somewhere and something if you're gonna do something like this, that you do that. So anyways, so I wanted to show uh, a couple of tools that have like proven invaluable and that I end up having used a lot and one that's really crazy. So I have been pulling, I don't know if you can see it all the way over there. This is like door frame and stuff. So I've been pulling a lot of the old uh, hardware off of there in an attempt to restore it and reuse it. Um, and then I've been pulling all the outlets out so that we can get it safer, so that we can run the electrical better and whatnot. It's a lot of screwdrivers. It's a lot of trying to get in there with it. So uh, it was kind of annoying with my hands. So I started and I was like, I need an electric screwdriver. I used to have one years ago. I couldn't find it. So I was like, I'm gonna go get one. Um, they're not too expensive. It'll be too easy, right? So. I found this guy, right? Uh, it was a little pricey, but I was like, you know, DeWalt makes pretty good stuff. I'm gonna give it a try. It's psychic. Watch this. So it's got a little button down here that you press, right? But that's it. There's no left or right, none of that. But you press it. And then you wanna go left? Oh, but wait, I wanna go right. Look at that. That's freaking crazy. Oh, you gotta get something off the ceiling? Uh, so, 
admittedly, uh, it did take a little bit of getting used to because it's, it's weird, you know. It just knows because it's got some sort of gyroscope in it. I'm pretty sure they just harnessed uh, Miss Cleo into this and she's in there going, oh, left or right, righty tighty, lefty loosey. And that's what we ended up with. But a little weird getting used to, took a little bit of a learning curve. Um, I was a little annoyed with it at first. So I wasn't going to show it because, I mean, I, I didn't like it at the time. Um, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to give it more of a try. Love it. Absolutely love it now. The only annoying part now is my bits. Um, some of these bits are hard. And it's not the bits fault. It's not. It's not. It's because uh, this hardware I've got is painted over. So I've got to get in there with this. The cool thing is, though, is I can actually push pretty hard with this, and it still has enough to do it and loosen it. Now, you're not going to go and screw boards into walls and all that with this. But to hang it, stick it in your tool belt, and use it, it's fantastic. And swapping out these bits is pretty easy. Look at that. I just slide that up, and then out come the bits. I just did that with one hand. Too easy. Too easy. Um... I really, really like it. It was definitely worth the monies. And I really, really dig it. So, hey, DeWalt, good job. Good job. This thing is cool. I really, really like it. Definitely worth the extra bucks, especially when doing a project this large. Uh, keep it up. Y'all are killing it there. So, the other tool that I end up using a lot is just this silly orange hammer. So, this is a dead blow. Listen to that. It's a freaking maraca. So what it is, is it's a nice softer rubber polyurethane, I don't know, some sort of soft hammer, uh, soft material that is. And it weighs five pounds, but in it is this material. So what that means is that when you hit something, unlike my, uh, right here, my sledgehammer, which kind of like you'll hit it and it's got a little bit of a bounce. When you hit something with this, it's very, very solid. It's very solid, and it just keeps it going. So when you're beating on something, you don't get that bounce back. And what happens is you hit it, and then you've got a follow through of all that weight on the inside. Super great choice. It was cheap. I think it was like 15, 20 bucks, something like that. Super cheap, especially for something I use that much. It's also fantastic because it's not metal for if I need to get into something with like a crowbar, for giving that final throw back and to shove it through without getting a bounce back or that just really loud um, ding that comes from your sledgehammer hitting it. So that was kind of my progress yesterday. Those are a couple tools that I like really, really, really dig and have been using quite a bit. Uh, I've been looking at your comments. I've been getting the messages. I appreciate every one of them. You all are fantastic. The amount of support I've gotten is great, and uh, especially all of the you can do it um, ones for somebody that has nothing more than, as far as woodworking skills go, a, uh, a high school woodworking class that I took over 15 years ago. Uh, so I, again, really appreciate it. I hope you all like these videos. I'm enjoying showing them. They, they really help to keep me accountable. Um, if you're enjoying this, hit that subscribe button uh, so that you can make sure you're getting these each day. And I appreciate all of everything, all of the help and all of the assistance I've been getting. Uh, Jasmine came over yesterday. She really helped a lot with getting these floors clear and clean. And I just can't say thank you enough to her and to everyone else that's been uh, throwing out the suggestions, give me ideas of what to use and how to go about this stuff. This project is uh, already proving to be a little more than I thought it would be, um, ish. Uh, it, it's not that it is more than what I thought I was gonna have to do, I mean it is, but it is uh, more work. The actual volume of work and what it takes to do it is more than I thought. But here's the thing, like any giant project, like anything big you do, it's like a watermelon. You don't eat it one bite at it, in one bite. You gotta eat it one bite at a time. And this is the early bites. These are it right here. I'm taking this, this demo and I'm doing it and I'm getting it done. And once I get this done, that's when I get to get to the fun part. That's when you get to the part you want to do. The, the parts where you get to design, you get to add walls, and you really get to watch it transform. So 
anybody that's hearing this, anybody that's like seeing one of these big projects and they're just like getting overwhelmed, one bite at a time. You got this. Uh, anytime you build a wall, it starts with that first brick, right? And that's what this is. This is starting early. So keep your heads up when you start one of these projects. If you become more than you can, you think you can handle, you got it. You can do this. It is not more than you are capable of. So anyways, thank you all very much. Um, if you're liking these videos, send me some comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've got any ideas, anything like that. Uh, there's apparently a bell that gives you a ding if you really want to get them like right the moment they upload. Um, and I appreciate that. Anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow. I might try some new ideas with some videos. We'll see. Anyways, I love you all. Thank you very much.